new lab. So this is just one of the five rooms, total is about 2,000 square feet. And because of that, I've been able to get a bit bigger of a machine. Managed to pick up a uh, Geol or Joel, I don't know how to pronounce that, JSM T330A electron microscope. Uh, this one was has a pink label on here somewhere. Anyway, it was marked for scrap, so I picked it up for $300. The um, biggest issue with it is these machines are actually supposed to be in two parts. One is the, micro, uh, the microscope and the other one is the actual monitor. So I will have to build the other half of this, but I think I've watched enough applied science videos that I can manage that. So you can see it has a diffusion pump. Uh, it didn't come with a roughing pump, but I got another one from the same place I got this. Um, and I know that there isn't, aren't any significant vacuum leaks because up in here, it's completely full of diffusion pump fluid, meaning something happened with their roughing pump at one point and it shot all the diffusion pump oil inside of it. I'd show you, but I don't actually know how to open this yet. The whole thing's isolated, um, but I had to shove it closed before I could pick it up. I'm, that's one of the things I need to figure out. It has a whole lot of slides. The, uh, I guess they're calling it the T-axis. Doesn't feel too great, though. I don't know if you can see it just pushing it out. I don't believe it's supposed to do that. It does have a nice viewport which you probably can't see inside. Where's the camera? Uh, no. And it has uh, what might be the sensor here. I don't think, you know, I don't know enough about these. I guess this part is gonna be the sensor, so this might be another slide. Not totally sure, I haven't read the manual on these. <clears throat> but it's very similar to the one Ben at Applied Science has. So that should work in my favor. It might actually have a second stage here um, for viewing things that can you know, move in multiple orientations. So what I'm going to do right now is probably pull the covers off of everything, and then we'll see what circuitry we have to work with and things like that inside of there. All the screws were very stripped, but you can see it's just isolated on these big springs here. And then, um, see, down here, I don't really know what to think about this. Um, this part, I'm sure, is the high voltage power supply. The gun bias knob on top has a mechanical linkage into it. I don't think it's under vacuum. I think it's just under oil. But uh, that's uh, unexpected. I'll have to see whether I can salvage this and get it to operate or just figure out part of it or replace it entirely. Other than that, it seems like only the high voltage supply board is here. I can see, I guess, some connectors that would go to the other unit. Not really sure what that is, but it's uh, definitely gotten toasty on the rectifiers. Some triangles very important and then there are some you know spare parts kind of I don't really know what any of this is yet maybe slide holders and various fixtures in here so that's always pleasant but yeah now I'm just gonna probably tear into it a bit further I'll try not to lose anything but I'm curious about the high voltage power supply so I wasn't able to get too far out without taking apart the wires, but there are some old uh, TO3 package transistors. And then inside of here, it's very oil filled for sure. That seems to be a theme with this. Oh, it's heavy. There are a lot of circuitry, capacitors. I believe that's a CW multiplier inside of there or a voltage doubler or just a rectifier or something. Um, by the weight of it, there's a very sizable coil in there so I am going to try and uh, reuse all that stuff as far as I can tell the circuit board looks okay not any major burn marks so I might be able to fire it up and well hopefully without too much fire unfortunately there are 
lot of connectors just all over the place that uh, should connect to something, but don't. There's just connectors everywhere. Very few of these wires actually go between boards or parts. Most of them just go to connectors. And then what really concerns me is this connector block here. I don't know if I want to, I mean, it's going to be a lot of work figuring out what the heck those all go to. Which is actually the next step. I'm going to try and get this open. Yeah, I don't think it's motorized or anything like that. I think it's just sticky, which is strange considering it's flooded with oil. But, yeah, we'll see. I think it's a gift that just keeps on giving. I have no idea what these motorized valves are for or what they do. What this entire circuit board is for. Let me see if I recognize any of these ICs on here. Forgive the shaking. I mean, I, I recognize some logic gates, Schmidt triggers, OR gates. Um, other than that, I don't know what these big chips are. Probably, I mean, I'm sure that's a ROM and various memory and processor chips. But I don't really know why it needs as much as it has here. Like, I thought that was just a cover for uh, a vacuum line, just an area where it can move from the rigidly mounted parts to the isolated parts. So that's something uh, for sure. So I got it open. Uh, it just has two lock screws that retain it. You can see the markings from uh, not knowing that. Seems like most of the stage stuff works pretty well. All feels very smooth. I have X, Y, Z, R, and T. Not really sure why they're labeled like that, but I don't really care. So you can kind of see inside of here. I'm not sure what the thing on the side is adjusting. Maybe moving the aperture or something. There's definitely a lot of uh, optical stuff in there, or you know, charge optics, whatever it's called. And then I found out this is just a feed through. So I, you know, I guess if you need to look at something under power. This has a lot more features than I anticipated. Let me think if there's anything else. I mean, worst case, it's a $300 vacuum chamber that is, you know, extremely uh, high quality and has a five axis slide and a ton of feed throughs. So either way, I'm happy with this purchase. I just have uh not really any idea where to start. Well, I guess to start's to pump it down and go from there. You know, make sure it doesn't leak. And then maybe I'll try and find information on the sensor. Then I'll try and get the high voltage power supply going. That might make the most sense. Of course, I gotta figure out this board that's handling. I looked closer, these motors are just AC motors. Um, it's being run an on-off sort of state to get to various positions, as indicated by the flag switches. I'm not sure under what circumstances you need to choke off a vacuum, and I don't know what this does. It's pretty large to just be a valve. Oh, you know what? It's part of the diffusion pump right there. Which is still kind of confusing, but... Ideally, I'd not tear into it too much. I guess I'll get the vacuum going, make sure all the seals are good, and then start taking stuff apart and uh, making sure the seals are good when I put them back together as I learn what these parts do. But I think these operate at a fairly high vacuum, and there's a lot of stuff, a lot of connections here on the high vacuum side. That could be problematic. But that's probably going to do it today. I still have a bunch of stuff to clean up before work tomorrow from getting this in here. So, guess I'll see you guys whenever.